Hello students, I am back for you all now. As you all know that in our last class we did the theory part of conductance where I have shown you all the formulas of conductance. Okay. And today we will try to do the numerical problem of those all formula which I have shown you in my last videos. So students you can see out here the number one question which we are going to do is this one. And here it's written the resistance of 0 0.01 capital M is molarity. NaCl solution in a conductivity cell was found to be 210 ohm. The specific conductance of this solution is 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 singlet centimeter inverse. Now your job is to calculate cell constant. Okay. What is your job? To calculate the value of cell constant. Isn't it? You have to calculate the value of cell constant students. Now to do so, you can see out here resistance is given 110 I'm writing from here omega and ohm means same concentration in molarity cm have written as 0.01 m from here and specific conductance means kappa specific conductance means kappa whose value is given 4.5 into the power minus 2 c min centimeter inverse now do remember c min and ohm inverse means same okay now the question is saying us to find cell constant and the formula which i gave you in my last class for cell constant was rk into la Cell constant means RK went to LA. But here is neither L is given nor E is given. But what is given? R and K. So cell constant formula is RK. That is resistance into specific conductance. The value of resistance is 210 ohm that I am writing here. Kappa value is given 4.5 into the power minus 3 ohm inverse centimeter inverse. I am writing here students. So this ohm and ohm inverse will get cancelled. So if ohm and ohm inverse will get cancelled, what will remain? This numbers will remain. If you multiply and divide, it will come 0 0.945. And the unit left is what? Centimeter inverse. So this is how we find the value of cell constant from the value of R and T. But if you see in this sum, CM has nothing to do out here. So from here, you have to understand that in question, whatever is given doesn't mean that you have to implement that when you solve the numerical problem. Those concentration in molarity was given, but there was no room to put out there. So I'm not going to put the value of CM. Okay. Now let us go to the number two sum. Resistance of 0.01 N means normality of NaCl solution is given 200 omega means ohm at 25 degrees Celsius. Cell constant of the conductivity cell is given unity. Unity means how much? One. Calculate the equivalent conductance of this solution. So your resistance is given 200 ohm that I'm writing here. Concentration in normality is given as 0.01 and n means normality. Earlier we wrote cm for molarity, now cm for normality. And cell constant is given unity. Unity means how much? 1. Now with this data we are going to find is the value of equivalent conductance. The formula of equivalent conductance is kappa into 1000 by cn. If you remember I have given you this formula where n is in the suffix. Now, 1000 I have kept it as it is, CN I have kept it as it is. But if you see here, kappa is not given, that is specific conductance is not given. But I can replace kappa with this. From here you can see, if cell constant means RK, so if I bring this R down, if I bring this R down, then cell constant upon R, cell constant upon R will become equal to kappa. So I can replace kappa with cell constant upon R. So that I have done out here. So you can replace kappa with cell constant by R. Cell constant is given unity, so I put 1 out here. Resistance is given 200 ohms, so I put out here. Concentration in normality is given as 0.01 that I am writing here, students. Now you can cancel these two. 200 ones are 200, 200 fives are 1000, so 5 ones are 5 upon 0.01. If you divide these two, you get 500. Now the unit of equivalent conductance. If you remember in my last video, I have said you to remember the unit. It will be ohm inverse centimeter square, and since we are finding equivalent conductance, so we write equivalent inverse. Oh, so you got this. If you want to repeat it again, you can repeat the video, okay, as per your convenience. Now we go to the third sum. <coughs> Calculate the equivalent conductance of 0, 1 capital M sulfuric acid solution if its conductivity value is this much ohm inverse centimeter inverse. So here concentration is given in molarity, that is, that's why I'm writing a cm and how much is given? 1. And do remember students, ohm inverse centimeter inverse is the unit of whose? It's the unit of kappa. So kappa value is this much I'm writing here. Because ohm inverse centimeter inverse means the unit of kappa. And how much it is given to you? 2.6 in to the power minus 2 ohm inverse centimeter inverse. 
Now, as you all know, to find equivalent conductance, we require Cm. And to find molar conductance, we require Cm. So here Cm is given. So don't find, though the question is saying you to find equivalent conductance, you are not going to find equivalent conductance. In place of that, you will find is molar conductance first. And the formula for molar conductance is lambda m is equal to kappa into 1000 by Cm. Why am I using this formula? Because Cm is given. Okay, if Cn was given, I could have used this formula directly if Cn was given in this sum. Since Cm is given, so I am finding lambda m first. If Cm is given, what to find first? Lambda m. Now let's see how to find it. Kappa is given 2.6 into 10 to the power minus 2. 1000 is 1000 and Cm is given 1. Now if you solve this all students, okay, 10 to the power minus 2 and 2 0 will get cancelled. 10 will remain. 10 into 2.6 is 26 upon 1. No need to write. And the unit of lambda m also I said you to remember in my last class and the unit is ohm inverse centimeter square mole inverse. See the unit of this two, lambda e q and lambda m unit. It is also ohm inverse, ohm inverse. And the same, centimeter inverse, centimeter inverse. When you find equivalent conductance, we write e q inverse. When you are finding molar conductance, we write mole inverse. So here I found lambda m, that is molar conductance. Though the question was saying we need to find equivalent conductance. Now, I have given you another relation between lambda m and lambda eq and the relation was like this. Lambda m is equal to z into lambda eq, where z stands for total positive or negative charge. So, if I bring this z down, so what we get here is lambda m upon z. If the z will go down, then lambda m upon z. Lambda m upon z will be equal to lambda eq. And the question is saying also when equivalent conductance, that is lambda eq. Now lambda m you got 26, you put out here, z value will be 2. How to? Let us see here. This is your dibasic acid, isn't it? If this acid will break, it produces 2 hydrogen ion. And 2 hydrogen ion means 2 H plus. So what is the positive charge? 2 plus. So therefore we write 2 out here. Since sulfuric acid is a dibasic acid, I repeat, dibasic acid. So its z value will be 2. If it is monobasic acid, it would have been 1. And moreover, when it dissociates, it produces 2 hydrogen ion. For one hydrogen ion, we write plus one. For two hydrogen, we write plus two. Total positive charge is plus two. Plus two means we simply write here two. And when you divide these two, you get 30. Okay? And the unit of lambda eq is similar to that of lambda m. I said you, ohm inverse, ohm inverse, centimeter square, centimeter square. M, so mole inverse, eq, so we write eq inverse. So I hope you all understood these three sums. If not, you can repeat the video or any other doubt. You can always WhatsApp me, students. So now you can take the screenshot of this. And after you zoom, you can copy the notes. You can make the notes back home. And with this concept, you can try some other sums similar to this. Okay. Thank you very much, students.